The route of Kosh Tepe Canal was changed to preserve the ancient monuments in bulk. The path of Kosh Tepe Canal in the area of 74 to 80 kilometers of its path in the area between Daulatabad and Kaldar districts collided with a historical fort and changed its direction by 200 meters. This change of route is only in one area and the Kosh Tepe route has been reconnected to its original route. The measures to save the historical monuments have cost the government an additional $35,000. The work of this channel has progressed by 44% and there will be no change in the direction of this channel. Kosh Tepe Canal is one of the biggest canals in the country, which started from the AMU River in Kaldar district of Balk province and ends by passing through the plains of Harita'an, Daulatabad, districts of Balk and Akche Jiaozhan in Ankoi district of Faryab province. This canal is 285 kilometers long, and 108 kilometers of this canal has been built, which has reached from Kaldar district of Balk to Daulat Abad district of Balk. A few days ago, the work of the second phase of this canal started from this point, and it continues to Ankoi district. While the canal's route was changed at one point due to archaeological considerations, the preservation of historical treasures is just as vital as the supply of water. Every stone and clay left from the historical castle has stories of the past who have witnessed the changes and transformations of their times many times. This decision to change the route is part of the respect and attention that people and officials have for their ancient heritage. It is as if the water of Kosh Tepe Canal has bowed before the greatness of history and has taken another way to enrich today's life and preserve the sanctity of the past. The additional cost of $35,000 for this change of route may seem like an economic burden at first glance, but it is actually an investment for the future. Preserving cultural and historical heritage is like preserving the identity of a nation. These actions allow future generations to enjoy the agricultural and economic benefits and appreciate the historical and cultural richness. Watching the canal progress to 44% and ensuring that no further diversions are forthcoming is a testament to the commitment that exists to complete this massive project. Kosh Tepe Canal is known as one of the largest canals in the country and as a force of change in the region. By passing through different provinces, this channel also strengthens unity and solidarity between different regions. As loaders and bulldozers pick up and move dirt, preparing the ground for water to flow, providing a platform for possibilities and a greener future. Every move they make, every shoveling, and every time they dump dirt is a part of this big project. Workers hunch over blueprints and blueprints. Engineers carefully review the route of the canal to ensure it has the most efficient route. These precise calculations guarantee that every drop of water will be used in the best possible way. Sometimes the machines stop for a moment a time to refresh and review strategies. Workers get together, have a drink, and discuss the day's progress. These short moments of relaxation are filled with laughter and friendly chats. The project is progressing while a lot of attention is paid to environmental protection. Environmental experts work alongside engineers to ensure that the new canal minimizes environmental impacts. Even in spite of the scorching heat, the morale of the workers does not drop. They know that the result of their work will soon appear in the form of agricultural products, increase in family income, and development of the area where they live. Meanwhile, the safety of workers is also of great importance. Safety measures are carefully implemented so that every worker goes home safe at the end of the day. This security is the basis of the sustainability of any construction project. Although a project of this magnitude has its challenges, the existing team cooperation and empathy shows a common will to overcome any obstacle. This correlation is one of the most important success factors of the project. The canal is part of a larger project to bring life to the thirsty plains of northern Afghanistan. Like the vessels that bring blood to the heart, the Kosh Tepe Canal carries water to lands that have witnessed agriculture and prosperity for tens of generations. Here, where the first phase of the Kush Tepe Canal ends, this bridge that is located above this canal connects the Hayratan Mazar Sharif Road that passes over this canal. 
a bridge that acts as a link between the past and the future. This bridge is a path for the movement of people and goods, a path that enables cultural and economic exchange. Under the shadow of this bridge, the waters of the canal flow slowly, ignoring the commotion above them. These waters carry stories from far away, stories of snowy peaks and green valleys that now serve dry and yellow lands, waters that return fertility to the land and revive hope in the hearts of farmers. But this bridge is not only a vehicle, this bridge is a part of progress, of interaction and cooperation between humans. This bridge is like a sentinel staring into the distance and waiting to see more developments in the area. Because every truck that passes over it and every drop of water that passes under it is a part of this big project. The role of Kosh Tepe Bridge and Canal in the lives of people around it is more than a simple structure. They are like vital vessels that can move water and goods, but they can also bring opportunities and facilities. And in the meantime, the bridge, as a symbol of steadfastness and stability, watches the changes. From the seasons that come and go to the social and economic changes that are always happening. In fact, this bridge and canal are deeper than meets the eye. They are the silent narrators of stories that will remain at the heart of the region's history. The days pass and the seasons change, but the Sark Haritan Mazar Sharif Bridge and the Kosh Tepe Canal are still stable against the challenges of time and witnesses to the unceasing efforts of the people who live in these plains. This is the project of this land, the project that continues every day with every step and every drop of water that flows. And in this narrative of progress, it is as if time sometimes stands still. As the sun rises in the blue sky and sheds its light on the structures underfoot, life flows around the Kosh Tepe Canal and the Sark Hiratan Mazar Sharif Bridge, another day of work, another day of life. Farmers who are impatiently waiting for the rains can now overcome the drought with the help of Kosh Tepe Canal water. The water flowing under the bridge breathes new life into the surrounding fields, whose produce is sent to markets near and far. These products, which are the result of daily labors of farmers and the blessing of canal water, thank you for watching.